now. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> that was a cut scene. Okay. I'm gonna put you right here. Ah! I've made a mistake. Get back here. I need to play Portal 2. Okay. Gently. Nope. glorious way possible <laughs> okay now then <laughs> oh hey this is actually a oh god oh, okay never mind it's fine everything is fine everybody slowed down quite suddenly then well they were at a stoplight and I didn't realize it was a stoplight so move Fire truck. That didn't end well. For me or the fire truck. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it's rock. No, it's not. But I'm not supposed to get damage points from that. So you know, it all works out. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't know, uh, Suki. I, I don't know. Alright. Turn the bus. Woo. 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 Hold on. Whoa! We go, oh, come on! Not the bus. Wait, is this even the right bus? It's definitely not the right bus, lady. <laughs> we totally had a, we totally had a noser there. Aww. Very sad that we missed that. I hope you got that clip. <laughs> and we're back to slow. Hello! Hello! Help us! Help us! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh, are we gonna stop? Nope! Ah, oh, uh. <laughs> Topsoil removal, trench excavation, prefabricated walls. I might do this. Hey, Ollie. How's it going? I think we'll do, I think we're going to do this. We are going to do the other, okay, let's accept this contract really quick. All right. So we've done that. And then there's one other I wanted to accept, I thought. Happens. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take that, I guess. Oh, crap. Oh, thank goodness that was an uphill. Oh. Can we pickle fish? 
Hello, everybody. Welcome in. <laughs> Two minutes before a stream, and I make a decision. <laughs> I forgot I was streaming. Uh, I didn't forget I was streaming. I was painting. In fact, I have paint on my fingers, and that's annoying me. I'm not supposed to be painting my fingers, but, you know, that happens. It happens. Stuff happens. All right, let's get this done. Not that thing. Let's get this thing done. Who doesn't want it? Aston Martin. Kurt, hello. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Welcome in. Who doesn't want an Aston Martin SUV? Blech. Who wants an SUV? Muppets. That's it. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let's get this this thing done. This is the leftovers from the last visit I had to the uh, junkyard. <laughs> Good times. <clears throat> Kurt, how was Big Ambitions? Do you still have ambitions? Or are all of your ambitions dead? Do you have inhibitions? That maybe is a better question. Rear air suspension shock. I have those, I think, somehow, but I think I can repair those, which is more annoying. We are, we are going to do this. We're going to do that vet over there. I'm still in the fence about the look of the new Corvettes. I'm just not... I'm not sure I like them. But <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> Hi, Kurt. Uh, it was good. Good. Glad. I, um, I, was, I, was, I, I was painting upstairs. Um, cause Doss isn't here and I can paint and, and paint the way I want to paint, which I'm sure is going to get me told off when she gets home, but whatever. Um, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I got a stream. And then I was like, oh, what am I going to stream? And then I was just like, you know what? Good car mechanic it is. We're gonna we're gonna get these three vehicles done as quickly as we can. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna well I'm gonna go as quick as I can. Let's let's say that much. Anything else is a fiction. You told off? No. <laughs> Kojo! Hello. Uh it's funny how often I'm told to fluff off in one way or another. <laughs> be it at work or be it at home. Uh. So we're going to get this terrible vehicle done. Terrible vehicle. So I I was I've been I've been car shopping and um <clears throat> I we want we want to look at replacing actually I'm just gonna do the rear end of this vehicle first because I bet you the tire sizes are different um, we, we've been looking at replacing the rabbit because you know the rabbits coming up on 20 years old it's a two-door and it's our road trip vehicle and I'll tell you what it's really painful to road trip in that thing because it's a sporty car it has no suspension travel it's a bumpy ride so we're like well we probably should look at at replacing the rabbit and i went looking i don't want an suv because suvs are stupid and i hate them so i was like all right let's look for a station wagon oops um and there's three companies who make station wagons subaru gag me i hate those things the boxer engines are horrendous they're constantly leaking oil my brother loves them but his his subaru is always leaking and he's always having to replace gaskets and i'm like yeah nope not not gonna do that also they're anemic pathetic and i hate them so subaru was out next was an audi um and when i was like i wonder how much the insurance on an audi station wagon is and i called and i asked and the guy in the uh that I was talking to just started laughing. And I was like, you know what? Don't bother. We're just going to move on. <laughs> and the other one is Volvo. But here's my problem with these vehicles. 
not the Subaru, because Subaru doesn't have this problem. The, the, Vol the Volvo and the Audi, they both use two liter, four cylinder turbocharged engines. All right, fine. I don't know about the Audi, but I know the Volvo, get this Kojo, the Volvo has an eight speed transmission. At one, at some point you just say, I need all the gears, which is a CVT, which means you buy a Subaru, which means it will break and which means it'll just spend more time in the shop than you spend driving it. But that's a different problem. Um, so I was like, wow, that's a lot of gears. But I was like, I'll, I'll drive it. I found a, a Volvo V70 cross country thingy. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go drive it. So I drove my bunny up there so that I could remember what it was like to drive the bunny. Not that I would forget. And then I got in the V70. And I drove pretty much an identical route that I, I drove prior to getting there with my rabbit. A gentle uphill. My rabbit is in sixth gear. 2.5 liter straight five engine, 190 horsepower in a 4,300 pound vehicle doesn't downshift, stays at 75 miles an hour on the dot, not a problem. Volvo V70, four-cylinder, two-liter turbo, eight-speed transmission, 250 horsepower, something like 6,000-pound vehicle. It couldn't decide what gear it was in, and it could not maintain 70 miles an hour up a gentle hill. And I was like, well, that tells me just about everything I need to know about that. Uh, I need it by arrival, please. Thank you. So I was like, yeah, that's not going to happen. And it's funny, the woman that was the, the, the salesperson was all like, you're going to love it. It's going to be so much better than your your Volkswagen, because I used to sell Volkswagens. And I got back and she's like, what do you think? And I was like, I hated it. Had no power. She's like, it's got more power than the Volkswagen. I go, yeah, but they ruined it by putting a freaking eight-speed transmission in there. Then can't decide what gear it wants to be in. Anyway, enough of my rant about vehicles. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Uh, I didn't buy a single thing that I put on my buy list, did I? Nope, I didn't. Brake pads and brake cylinders and a brake caliper and a fuel tank and a rear muffler and I need a fuel pump. Because for some reason, every single one of these cars comes without a fuel pump. You just realized you haven't eaten yet today, so you're going to make lunch. You're a Muppet and go make lunch. Uh, thank you for the raid, Kurt. Go, go eat the fuds. 325, 35, 22s. 325, 35, 22. 325, 35, 22. 325, 35, 22. I'm betting the front tires are different, and that's why I'm going to do the front and the rear separate, because otherwise, I'll mix them up and it'll be a disaster. It'll be a disaster. I don't know where that accent came from. Wolf would have all kinds of things to say about that accent, but... He's not here. He's probably in bed because he's an old man. Alright, now we got tires, we got bits and bobs, and we can try to assemble this thing. Fuel tank. Muffler. I'll get that stuff later, because it don't matter much. All right, I'm going to buy another knuckle housing, so let's go ahead and put that on the list. I have so many spare parts in my inventory, I don't even bother in many cases unless I know for sure they're non-repairables. 
I, I don't even bother to put them on my list until I know I need them. Hub. Hubba hubba. Hubba hubba. Hubba hubba hubba. Hubba. Hubba 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 hubba. Can y'all believe we're almost done with July? Like, where did the uh, entire summer go? And we need a new hub. Hubba hubba. I, I'm like, where where is summer? Why why you go away, summer? I need another one of those. And rim. Alright. That's on. Get the other rear out. I need you know what? And I also need to buy a couple of middle mufflers for the the old DBX. I'm not the only one making weird noise. You make weird noises every day, so I don't want to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm blaming the paint fumes, Kurt. I'm blaming the paint fumes. Yeah, that's how, we, that's, that's how we're going to go with this. <laughs> Doop, ba -da -doop, ba -da -doop. Okay. I mean, not like there's that much paint fume since I had fans on and all that. But, you know, whatever. We're going to go with it. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. <clears throat> And so if this is really with the Aston Martin um, if this is really what the Aston Martin SUV looks like, it it's pathetic. It's pathetic. People buy this stuff and I'm like, why do you buy this stuff? It looks no good. In fact, you know what we're gonna do? Hold on, I'm gonna be Brace, brace for squirrels, everybody. Brace for squirrel. It's going to happen. All right. That's what the Aston Martin SUV is supposed to look like. All right, everyone brace for squirrel. Hold on. Uh... Boop, 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 boop. All right, <laughs> brace for squirrel. Models. Let's explore the DBX707. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Stop it, stop it. I want to see what the vehicle looks like from the outside. I don't care about the inside. That's disgusting and makes me want to throw up. Go away. Where's the exterior? Exterior, <laughs> the exterior button. Oh my gosh, it really does look like that. Ah, uh, uh, come, come here, Bing. <laughs> Bing. Ah, uh, gosh, I've seen this same profile. It's like um, the uh, infinity. That That's the wrong thing, but that's the right thing. Doesn't matter. The infinity. Yes. Look, it looks like a QX50. It looks like a QX50. That's just... The QX50 is a $41,000 vehicle. This thing is a... Is a... I don't know. Let's find out. Will you... Will you... Yeah, start configuration. We are down the squirrel path deep. Oh, you have to submit it to the dealer. You don't get a you don't get a price. <laughs> submit to your dealer to find a price. Fluff off. <laughs> Back to the game. <laughs> Back to the game. <laughs> 
so basically it's an overpriced infinity is is what this um thing is oh my goodness all right squirrels 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 have been caged cage the squirrels I swear there was another infinity. I think it's like the third, the 40 maybe? I don't know. There's another infinity that looks a little bit more slope back like this, but. What are we searching for? Well, so we're, we're working on an uh, Aston Martin SUV, okay? And I, I, I was venting about the fact that it looked like garbage. And then I realized it really reminded me of a different vehicle. And I went and looked, and the the Aston Martin SUV looks like an Infiniti QX50, which is a four forty something thousand dollar pile of trash. So, what is that? A front deef? A front deef? All right. How are you doing, Iron Barry? All cars today just look the same. It's so, it's like samey land. And it bores me greatly. I'm like, I want variety. I was thinking that today because I went to Home Depot and I was like walking through the parking lot. Cause, because I'm, I am still sort of searching for a replacement for the rabbit. And I can't find a single thing that looks good. And um, I was like, everything looks the same. Like, legit. The only vehicles that look different, I'm going to say this, and people are, it's, it's controversial. It's controversial, and I know it. But the cars that are looking the best are the subcompacts. The new Honda Civic looks great. The uh, the new Toyota Prius or Pius, take your pick. Either way, that thing looks like it came out of a sci-fi show. Um Honestly, the Corollas, the new Corollas look decent pace for the Austin Aston Martin SUV is a hundred grand so basically double up the infinity for a nameplate that sounds about right But anybody who wants like a like I, I will say the the Volvo the V70 I mean at least it looks legit like a you know it's a nice looking car it's too bad it has a crappy two liter turbo in it and by the way the turbo of that two liter turbo I swear is like a pound and a half of boost like when I was test driving that V70 I legit having driven the the truck right and my brother's Subaru WRX, right? You put your foot into it and you wait until the you get a nice high RPM. You take your foot off and you should get that the turbo overrun. There was none of that in the Volvo. And I was like, that thing must be running like two pounds of boost. It, it's it's a, a turbo by name only. High end is 300 grand. You know what? For 300 grand, I'll go buy a house. <laughs> it's amazing what people spend their money on. A vehicle that's going to depreciate like nobody's business. In theory, your house appreciates. In theory. Now, a reality could be very different. Front Range of Colorado, your house definitely appreciates, but yeah, why would you spend that kind of money on a car? I mean, if you have Elon Musk kind of money, well, if I had Elon Musk kind of money, I would, I would fund a paying college for, and college and tech school and whatever for a large number of the population, because I'm not a jerk. Um... <laughs> I have other words for him, but we're going to go with jerk. 
Uh, all right, give me that. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, my, my thinking is the current crop of cars. Um, uh, that, that, that's a word for it, Kurt. Um, the current crop of cars, I feel, are, um, really, you get the best looking vehicle by getting a subcompact, which is really sad, honestly. Because subcompacts are disgusting. I mean, they're not. I have a subcompact. It's just, I need something bigger than that. Um, I actually have to go buy the stuff that I just put on the list, but whatever. Um, every, I, I, it's like every auto manufacturer is like, I'm going to concentrate on an SUV. Ugh. 285 40 22s. I was right to do these differently. 285 40 22s. Because name a good, a good looking full size car out there. I bet you you can't. And people, people here in Colorado keep telling me I need to get a uh, all-wheel drive vehicle. And I'm like, I've, I've lived here for like 18 years with just front-wheel drive vehicles. I think I'm okay. <laughs> you just learn how to drive. Or you don't go out when it snows. Instead of being an idiot and going out when it snows and saying, I must go out when it snows to get my coffee. And you think I joke about that, but oh my goodness, the line at the coffee shops. You know how I know that? Because Doss used to work at a coffee shop, and when it snowed, they were busy. All right, enough ranting about that. <laughs> Let's find a new subject. What should our new subject be? I don't know what the new subject's gonna be. Oh, I need two of those. I bet you I need two of these. Woo, I do. Excellent. All right. That that excites me because it means I'm slowly, very slowly, whittling down the giant collection of parts I have. <sighs> uh, joke time. Um, sure. I don't really have a joke though. I'd have to stop and find one. Give me a joke, Kurt. While you're while you're giving me a joke, I'll give you a um, this fun scenario thing that I um, um, <laughs> that I read about, and then because I work in a different kind of field, I, I adapted it. But there's a saying in product management. You, you hear a lot of people saying low hanging fruit, like you should go for the low hanging fruit. Well, there's a saying if you're building, if your product that you're building is a monkey standing on a box doing the hula, you shouldn't build the box first as the low-hanging fruit. You should instead teach the monkey to do the hula because it's the harder task. And, and if you can't teach the monkey to do the hula, then you don't waste time and money building the box. In the world of AI, I'm like, you kind of have to build the box because you got to know how it works first. You, you, get, you need the basics. <laughs> what? Why you huh? Why you huh? If you do the difficult to achieve thing first, then and and you achieve that, then you can do the low hanging fruit and deliver the product quickly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Because so many, so many, even the company I work for, they're like, let's do the low-hanging fruit. And I'm like, no, let's not do the low-hanging fruit. Let's do the difficult task. Because if we fail, then then we haven't wasted effort on 
stuff we'll never use. Oh, joke of the day. I need to fix the bot, but whatever. How do horses wear their hair in the summer? In ponytails. Ah, uh, boo. Love it. Love it. Let's put this tire on here. All right, we have completed the chasse of our theoretically expensive pile of gubbins. All right, so now let's see what other parts I need to add in here. Ooh, do I need to remove you? I think I need to remove you because you're probably, what? Why can't I do that? Why can't I unmount you? Did I click on something that didn't let me unmount you? Apparently. Oh, okay. Never mind. It had that on there. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, let's go repair that really quick. All right. Got it. I forgot these high-end cars have two fuse boxes. Do they really? Do they really? I think they really do, which is kind of scary. All right, I'm going to need some new fuses because fuses are not reusable. All right, I know I don't have that. I know I don't have that. Or that, or that. Do I have a radiator? I do have a radiator. Do I have a radiator shroud? I don't. I need that, that, and that. The moon is weird. Being mooned is weird, too. Uh, let's go to the electronics. How many of those do I need for? Why is the moon weird? I mean, other than the fact that it's a piece of the Earth floating in space around the Earth. I need those, yeah. Now we go over here. All right, that's the simple stuff. Once this is assembled, we'll be able to, well, I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, I mean, I have ideas of what we're going to do, but I got, I got, I got two more vehicles. I got the Corvette and I got the terrible thing that's outside that it's better not to talk about because it's terrible. Um, but we will have to deal with that one when we get to it. Put that on there. It is hollow and should not be where it is. Well, yes. No. Okay. What do I need? No, I want to, I need radiator fan housing, bravo. All right, uh, rad. Fan housing, bravo two. Okay, and then I need, boppity boppity bop. And then, can I see that thing please? Put the lid on that. Habanero or Chipotle honey? Well, that depends on what you're putting it on, Kurt. Didn't want the base, but whatever game. Burger? Ooh, both. I don't know why you'd ask. Both is the answer. That is the only proper answer to that question. box. I need that guy. And put the top on, put the ABS module on. All 
Okay, that is that part done. How much is this car worth right now? 120 G with no engine in it. <laughs> 120 grand vehicle with no engine. Eh, let's say the engine apart. Apparently there's no bolts in this engine, which make this makes this task very easy, actually. Um, all right. I feel like um, I do cars right now. I'm like, I'm just going to zip bolts out until, <laughs> until parts start falling off. That's a lot of bolts for a head, get, head, but you know, or no, not even a head, a valve cover. How much pressure do they have it under? It's only got eight bolts on the head. Huh. Eh, well, they're probably torqued down to some insane spec, but we don't torque bolts in this here game. Right, this crankshaft seal. There's all kinds of extra stuff on this one. Okay, the seal is off. Or, 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 or. <laughs> like when you have a bad seal on your diff. Uh, one less oil pump in the world. Get a shoe off. I don't know how you get that shoe off, but sure, game. Let's go with that. I can get that shoe off. I can see that. Whatever. Do I have now? Yes. Can I has you now? Yes. Can I has you now? Oh, that's a bearing cap. Well, yep, we're going to take the crankshaft bearing cap off. Why not? Never hurt nobody. Oh, I have to take the crankshaft out before I can take out. Oh, no, that's the entire block. Are you fluffing kidding me? All right. Have you bought out any junkyards lately? No. I'm still, I'm still trying to recover from the last junkyard I bought out. This is the, uh, I've got two more cars after this one from the last junkyard. One months too many smile. <laughs> Hi, Fluffy. How are you? Thank you for the 50 months. Uh, let's rotate our engine then. I guess we I guess we taking it apart this way. Lean Tango Mango, hello. Warm and tired. I figured you're an old man, you know, you need your naps. Why would I buy a junkyard? I have one in storage. I mean, there's a reason I have one in storage. <laughs> I have considered whether I don't, I've considered selling off my entire inventory because that would be kind of interesting. But I also have considered um, actually shopping for cars based on the engines that I have in my inventory. Because, you know, I have tw I have four 19 engines in my inventory. Uh, how do you t make a 7 even take away the S? Wow. Repeat. You don't know why you go back, but you keep trying Farmer's Dynasty. Well, I can't help you if you have that kind of affliction. I believe there's probably professionals that could help you with that kind of affliction. All right, let's go. What kleptomaniac? I am not a kleptomaniac. 
I bought everything in my inventory fair and square. Skeleton walks into a bar. He says to the bartender, give me a beer and a mop. Did you get that from a joke card, Serenar, that you didn't give me to give to Kurt? Take the klepto out of kleptomaniac is more accurate. You be quiet, old man. I've been indisposed. I am now semi-indisposed and covered in ants. Don't ask. I I want to ask. I mean, is this some sort of new um, thing you do with your weekend, Serenar? Something you do for, you know... Never mind. I'm not going to ask it that way. <laughs> Uh, there's so many things I could ask, and I'm just not going to. You tried Medieval Dynasty, but couldn't fall for it. Oops, I broke something. Don't care. Missed. Giggity? Yeah, exactly. Kurt, you know where I was going with that. It, it kind of references back to your honey chipotle, Kurt. Cleaned the bike out front, sat there doing some fiddly parts, sat in an ant's nest, hence covered in ants. At least they're not biting ants. Das fell into a nest of biting ants. And she spent the next three days on antihistamines and loopy out of her mind. Or loop, more loopy out of her mind than normal. Take your pick. How do I not have one of those blocks? I don't know, but I don't. Let's buy it. Pop. caps on. I'm going to have to buy one. That's fine. You hope that you would know, believe me, you would know if they were biting ants. They would have already started to bite. Okay, so I'm going to need a crankshaft, a barring cap. Eight pistons an alternator, and a partridge in a pear tree, apparently. Okay, let's buy some stuff. Uh, I need one of them. Need one of them. Need one of them. Piston. Cup. Uh, he did what in his cup? Uh, there we go, eight of those. Um, rod caps. I need rod cap. I need eight of them. No, I don't. Don't do that. Don't do that because you don't need eight of them. You only need however many you didn't manage to repair, which is an unknown number at this stage. All right. Let's put this guy on. Somebody watched Cars recently. <laughs> no, I just remember it. It's just a thing. But I'm glad you picked up on it, Kurt. It makes me smile. <laughs> Though now suddenly I do want to go watch Cars. I don't know why. Alright, I need uh, two more uh, rad bearing caps. Partridge in a pear tree. Nope, just an alternator. Uh, definitely going to need a shoe and a couple gears. There's a new one coming out. Well, you know what I want to watch? Speaking of new new movies, I personally want to go watch the new um, Kung Fu Panda. Because I do. 
There's supposed it's supposed to be six movies long, the total story that they created. Bam! Hello. Yeah, I've heard it's supposed to be good as well. I, I really I I just want to watch the new Kung Fu Panda. Uh, what do I need to put together? Oh yeah, okay, hold on. We need a timing chain and a random idle roller. Twister is worth seeing as well. I'm struggling with that one because I loved the original. I don't think it's gonna be the same without the, um, the ratty, stupid old uh, Dodge truck. Things are going well. Things are going well, Vam. Uh, two of these cam gears. I'm building a terrible, stupid, dumb, rich person's shopping trolley. Because I don't, cannot imagine a single real car fan wanting an Aston Martin frickin' SUV for 100 plus K. Can I put the bedpan on? Thank you. <laughs> You'll take it? No, you won't. You couldn't, you couldn't, you wouldn't want to pay the taxes on this thing. Ain't no way. It's like a, it's a, as spec, it's probably a 200,000 US dollar piece of kit. Well, that's a toasted head. <laughs> that's a toasted head. <laughs> Shh, quiet. Um, okay, that seal is roached too. All right, well, we're buying a bunch of stuff. A what? I asked in what? Uh, the D. Um, that thing right there. Whatever that is. The DBX. Blech. Had marshmallow and giggity? What? You know what? I actually don't want to know. I don't want to know about your weird things, Kurt. <laughs> See, I knew, Vam. I knew. I don't know why people spend up to $300,000 on an Aston Martin SUV. I just assume they don't know what they don't know any better. That's what I assume. Uh, I do need that. Bought something else. Oh, yeah, that. And this. And a crankshaft pulley. What am I missing that I can't close that in? I don't think I'm missing anything. Eh, we'll find out. All right. Flywheel. Camshaft. Couple of them, another camshaft, an oil filter, and a pulley. Didn't even spend that much on your house, right? I mean, it's insane what people will spend good money on. But we were talking about it earlier, like if I had that kind of money that I could buy a $300,000 car, I wouldn't, 
because I'm not a fool and I probably have enough money to do some cool stuff like, you know, help people or something like that. Where is the spark plugs on an Aston? Like Siri. Oh, wait, I know where they are because it's an Aston. They go right there. And then do I have an oil dipstick tube? Nope. Do I have high pressure fuel injection pump? Nope. All right. I'm going to need one of those because I noticed that one was roached. Turbo. That turbo is good. All right. Now we need to go over here and work on this engine side. Need that. That can gear on. You'll just take a Ford 750. Uh, a bus, basically, is what you're saying. I was having a good old rant about modern uh, modern cars earlier because they, they make me angry. They make me angry. All right, I think we have all of the things I need to buy. Probably not, but it's fine. Uh, I only need two of those. I don't know why I have three of them on the list. That is not here. That's not here. This is here. Two high pressure fuel injection pumps, an exhaust manifold. I need eight variable valve controllers because can gear on there. Put the VVL on here. An Astrovan? Oh my gosh, those Astrovans were amazing. Good old, the good old Astrovan, man, those things were bulletproof. My cousin had one for the longest time. She had the 4x4 model um, because she lived in North Dakota. I mean, she was one of the four people ever who lived in North Dakota, I think. But... Um, she eventually killed it. I think she killed it. I think she, I, th I don't think she killed it. I think Dakota uh, Cancer killed it. Good old, good old rusty mess that is the Dakotas and how they handle snow and ice. Oh, yeah, they were amazing. They were they were nearly bulletproof. Can I not do an IRL stream of my place? What are you talking about? Why would I why would I stream anything about my place? Hey, we aren't as bad as Michigan. I that that's true. I mean, nobody is as bad as Michigan, let's be honest. Two of those. Turbo A. Yay. Oop. And that. Alright, let's let's buy some parts. Oh wait, ignition coil, that's here. Clutch bearing plate. I should grab one of those while I'm here, and I will if I remember. I won't remember, but we're gonna see if I remember. I'm going to remember. Release bearing. Um, all right, let's put this guy together. I didn't intend for this car to take this long, but I forgot the complexity of these Aston Martin engines. They are not simple engines to work on. And they have a lot of parts. Put this on. Okay, and then 
Do I have an engine cover? Ooh, I do. I wonder where that came from. I uh, don't have that. And do I have this? Don't have that either. All right. All right. Now, can, game, let me get around here. All right. I need a chain. Chain. Chain of fools. Chain of fools. All right. That. Uh, okay, that should be fine. Let's buy that stuff. Chain. Chain. That. Pop, 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 pop. I know I have no timing guides because you don't reuse timing guides you throw them on the floor chain of fools yep that's that's usually wolf's streams led by the head fool himself all right that should be now we should just be at the that was completely the wrong button but sure whatever game uh, there we go uh, belt tensioner. Battery! Hello. <laughs> Scarier on the save wa wavelength. Well, yeah. I just try to ignore things like that, Kurt. Do I have a timing cover? Randomly, I do. I don't know where that came from. Junkyard somewhere. This timing cover on. Belt tensioner on. What is this thing? An inner cooler? What about an outer cooler? <laughs> okay, do I have a... I don't have a B cover. Oh, well. All right. One intercooler. I probably need two intercoolers, honestly. But we're going to do one at a time because I don't want to overbuy. I have enough parts. I don't need any more parts in my inventory for the love of everything. <laughs> yep. And then I'm going to need some throttles. Yep. Two throttles. All right. Let's. There was an outer cooler, but it was too chill for this engine. <laughs> Truth. Truth. Oh, now we have some other things. An intake manifold. I don't have you. Do I have this intake manifold? I don't have you. Why is this engine so freaking complicated? No wonder British engines don't run. British cars fall apart. Overly complicated when they could just be very simple. Overhead valve push rods. Come on now. You don't have a B cover, so what are they just running around naked? Yes, exactly. Why? You have a problem with that? All right, I think we are done with this engine. Finally. Get off my stand. Let's put it in this car. Get in. Up. You go away. All right, now it's in. And now I got more stuff to add on. Do I have an engine cover? No. Do I have an induct? I do. Do I have this one? No. All right. More parts to buy. Yay. Boop. And boop. All right. That's the engine. Now let's put the transmission on. And of course, it's a, comp a complicated transmission because, of course, it is. All right, let's buy some parts, a gearbox, some exhaust, some exhaust, exhaust, exhaust. It's really exhausting. <laughs> Boo. I thought Aston. No, Aston is. Um, British. 
words are difficult. Yes, they are. Uh, I'm going to need a starter. Uh, I'm going to, I bet you need a transfer case. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope, that's not here. With jokes like that, I'm no better than Kurt. I didn't claim to be better than Kurt, except for in the joke department. Um, do I have a drive shaft? I don't have a shaft. Oh no! That's all right. I'll just buy some shafts. <laughs> All that in the list. Ah, I think we're done. Let's check. We are. All right, let's put some oil and other fluids in here. And then we can get this thing out. Nope, that's not what I want. Um, of our garage. And we can work on that vet over there. That vet needs a vet to be put down. Steering fluid, that might be an important thing. Go. Uh, there's the coolant. We're almost done, guys. We almost got this car out of here. Then we have to go align it. And then we have to paint it. That's all right. We're we're very close to being done with this thing. All right. That should be all the parts. All right. Uh, we're going to move this car to test path. So we can give her wheel alignment because them all wheels are off. Them all wheels are off. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's that's fine. Line your headlights, people. Really, seriously, check your headlight alignment. Not joking. Especially you people driving tr big trucks. That includes you, Iron Barry off. <laughs> Tired of being blinded by people. Usually not usually not semites. It's usually the people the the, the uh, coal rollers that are the worst. Ooh, are we gonna paint it factory white? I don't care because I'm selling it anyway. Because I would never keep this piece of crap. Blinded by light. Yeah, exactly. All right, there we go. There is an Aston Martin. Whatever it is. Go outside. There we go. We got ourselves an Aston Martin twin turbo. It looks no different than a Infiniti QX, whatever we decided, 50, which is a $41,000 vehicle, and this is a $100,000 vehicle. So what would you rather buy? Neither. Go buy a car, people. Seriously. Public service announcement. Buy a yiffing car. All right. Let's sell this thing. $253,000. Goodbye. I get blinded by the new pickup trucks. I'm not surprised. Let's sell all that stuff. Weiss. All right. This piece of crap needs to go somewhere. Goes to lift one. <laughs> PSA from Dare. Yikes. <laughs> all right. Corvette time. It's a new Corvette. It's so amazing. It's not. It's crap. I hate it. Needs to burn. Is that that literally it? Whoever owned this Corvette crashed every other piece of it. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, 
fixed. That is totally how you remove rust, people. That is totally how you remove rust. All right, let's uh, repair what we can. There we go. A front end and a rear end. Wow. That's amazing. All right, let's uh, put your front bumper on. I thought I just repaired that. Oh, I repaired the hood. Okay. Do I have a door? I do have a random green door. I'll take it. Don't have that. Don't have that for sure. I do have the rear bumper, which is nice. Random door. Let's check. Do I have a fender? Nope. Do I have a mirror? I do have a random mirror. Let's check if I have this fender over here. I don't. Do I have this random mirror? I do. Look at that. See? Me hoarding all these car parts has come in handy. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, body work for this guy. We need a front bumper. I don't remember what fenders we did or didn't have, so whatever. We need taillights, headlights. I don't think we, we needed some of that, but, or no, we did need some of that. Front bumper on, headlight. There. I do need that, okay. Rear window, I need a trunk, all right. Okay, so I need that, I need the trunk. Do I need that other fender? I do need that other fender. There we go. Fender, fender, trunk. Parank window. Okay, is that, is that all the parts? That's all the parts, except for, except for, I need a license plate. I need a plate. I only need one though, because I don't know. Illegal, because in Colorado you need to have a front plate, even if you have a don't, even if you don't have a front plate bracket, you still need to run a front plate. However you figure that out is your problem, not the government's. Yeah, steering wheel. And now I need that, that, and that. Do those and a mosquito mark five. <laughs> Sounds good. Alright, let's put the interior together. There we go. That should mean, yep. Our frame, body, and interior is 100%. Look at that. Excellent. All right. We have to... Now I have to... See, the problem is I can't... You can barely see into these now. I'm like, I can't see. There are special plates available here. You can only drive limited miles in a year with them. Huh. I, I honestly think, because... I, I do this. I do honestly think that we should um, we should implement um, per mile pricing that has a uh, an out basically for people who are rural. Like if you live so far from a particular thing, then you get a discount. But in the end, you you're paying per mile pricing. That's what I think. That in there. Do I need to get a backer on that one? I do. That's annoying. Okay, I need that and that and that and that and another radiator A, because I'm pretty sure I don't have one. All right, let's uh, let's buy those things. Radiator fan housing. We're gonna need two damn. Yeah. Rad. Oh, why is caps lock on? I don't know. I need two dam and two dam. Uh, that gets rid of that. Windshield washer, brake servo, radiator, radiator springs. One battery, one fuse box base.
case hello welcome in that's that now let's put this on over here um, apparently there's fuel tanks I'm gonna need to get those I just saw this guy hiding under here and over here I need All of that. All right. Relay. I need four of them. Two of them. One of them. Two of them. One of them. One of them. One of them. A fuel tank. And a fuel tank. And I should just go ahead and get a fuel pump to what am I fixing stupid new Corvette I don't like the new mid-engine Corvettes because they just don't look right that's my opinion and I'm sticking to it because my opinion is my opinion and opinions are like butts. Everyone has them and they all stink. Right, let's buy this. Go. That should take care of everything in the front. Yarp. I'll just leave that open for now. Can't get in there. I can't I, oh, I can't see what I'm doing. All right. Well, no, I can't. Um, oh boy. All right. Let's get this relay out of here. Let's get this air filter base out of here. What engine? Oh, it's a GCM, a CGM. Boo. It's basically a completely roached engine that has nothing left. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. There's. I literally can just yank all the pieces out. <laughs> Lifters. All right, well, that's fun. Ah, up you go, car. I feel like this is a true wreck, and I probably should have just stripped it for parts but here we are we're gonna restore it we're gonna restore it and sell it and be multi gazillion billionaires or something I'd love to get this done and that other car over there on the other lift done before this stream ends so that we can go shopping for more cars because that's what we do here. We go shopping for more cars. There's only three bolts holding that transmission on. That sounds so bad, but we're going to go with it. I am literally going to pull the block out with an, an engine crane, specifically because if I don't pull the block out with the engine crane, then the game has a conniption fit when I try to put a new engine in. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Boink. Uh, let's go put that on the stand. Mount an engine. Let's find our engine. There it is. Bop. There we go. That was simple. All right, let's repair some stuff. I wonder how many parts I have for a CGM engine. We're about to find out. I know I don't have a CGM engine. Otherwise, I would just drop it in there. All right. Let's 
You're, you got this game and you're loving it. Excellent. Do we have a camshaft? We don't. Don't have one of those. Definitely don't have an idle roller. Don't have that. Don't have that. Don't have that. Oi. Uh, oh, these are Hemi pistons. Okay, good thing that I checked. Otherwise, I would have bought regular pistons and been very sad. All right, let's buy some stuff. Steering pump, a random idle roller, one of them, one of them, one of them. We need eight of these. And then that was the V8 Hemi, so I'm going to need V8 Hemi rings. Playing sandbox mode because you like doing. I just like doing what I want to do when I want to do it. And you're rebuilding a car with a Hemi engine. Nice. Had this game since day one. Well, that's good, I guess. I mean, if you enjoy it, that's what matters. You. All right, do I happen to have heads for those? Nope, I don't have heads. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, rotate. All right, I need eight of those. And what do I need? Three of these guys? Three. Cool. All right. Uh, no, I don't need you. That's for sure. Uh, one cam gear. One engine head. Two engine heads. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, eight of those, three of those. Do you have tails then? No, I don't have tails. I mean, I have tails if you spell the tail a different way. <laughs> oh, English. Oh, English. Pronounce it the same, spell it differently, completely different meaning. Yay! Or even better, read and read. Yay! We're going to use the exact same word to mean two different things. Yay! Stupid English. Uh, I can say that as a holder of a Master's of English. Stupid English. Uh. All right, wrote that. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to, all right, let's see. Do I have any exhaust manifold? No, I need that and that. I'm going to need the standard 16. Yep, push rods. Clutch, I need a pressure plate. Um, uh, that, I have 16 of those guys. Uh, do I have that? I don't, because apparently I don't have very many CGM parts. Darn. All right, one timing chain, two exhaust manifolds, a partridge in a pear tree. So what kind of engine is this going, or what kind of car is this engine going into? Uh, new vet, which needs a vet because it needs to be put down. I'm going to recycle that joke because I hate the new Corvettes, but whatever. Water pump. No, I don't have one of those. I know that. Um, Exhaust manifold. 
go. Some push rods. Like a saw. I need those. I think the new mid-engine Corvettes, they, they tried too hard to look European and kind of just, in my mind, missed the mark as an American muscle car. Supercharger. I bet you I don't have one of those. <laughs> Almost guaranteed you that. You drive those? Nope. You can do those. Of course, I prefer older vehicles, so I prefer like the the 60s Mustangs, the 60s Corvettes. I'd like a, uh, a classic Volkswagen Type 2 bus. That would be amazing. You went to the wrong junkyard. Go to three more. Make sure you get the right parts. No, I'm not going to any more junkyards until we're done with this train wreck we're working on. Um, all right, let's go buy more parts. Not from there, I'm not. One water pump. Pulley. 16 of these guys. One supercharger. Two fuel rails. Partridge in a pear tree. All right, put this on. Water pump on. Okay, now we need to go up here to get all these on. But I also think a lot of the new cars are just over-engineered because they're like, ah, we have to meet the cafe numbers. So we're going to put these weird extra things on there. Ooh, I found out something that drove me insane. If if I were to get a um, something like a Volvo with the two-liter turbo on it, the insurance companies charge you extra because you have a turbo on there. Because in their systems, turbos still mean performance parts, not fuel economy parts so they were like well you can save a bunch of money by getting by not getting one with a turbo i'm like you do realize that that is 100 percent part of how two liter engines work today right and they're like no they're performance parts in our book i was like oh, okay then i asked them if they considered the turbo on my di uh, when I had the diesel truck I was like did you consider that a performance part and they're like well no that's a diesel I'm like okay well I think we have a problem here uh, hush Kurt <laughs> Kurt can't hush well we know Um, oh my goodness, how many? Okay, I'm going to need eight of those. Jeremy, hello. Uh, one alternator on board. Need that. I need that. Did I buy this already? Nope. Buy that. Uh, I, think we're, I think we're almost there. I think we're almost there. The sad part is now I have to do the um, actual non-engine part of this car, which is annoying, but we'll get there. It's okay. It's okay. It'll all be fine. You don't normally talk in your sleep. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, how do you know? Have you recorded yourself sleeping? I know somebody who did that. They're like, I don't talk in my sleep. And I know because I recorded myself sleeping. And it's just like, okie dokie. That's an interesting thing to do, but all right, cool. Um, that is one big serpentine belt. Yeah, 
<laughs> Diamondback watches him sleep. I mean, that's, I'm not surprised by that. You have an app on your phone that tracks stuff. Uh... <laughs> Creepy. I mean, it is Diamondback, so you just you just sort of deal with it. Uh, All right, this engine might be done. I don't know. Did I put everything together? It looks like I put it all together. The engine looks together. Let's take it and put it in the car. Ca, 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 ca. In the car with you. Boop. You move. All right. We now have this engine in here, and now let's put all the other bits and bulbs in here. Air filter base. Yay. Air filter. Um, I do not have an ECU type A, so I don't even know why I put that on there. Did I fix the fuse box? I did not fix the fuse box. Um, and if I didn't put those on there, I'm going to put them on there again. All right, let's buy one coolant reservoir, not two of them, because that would be silly. One power steering reservoir. 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 I don't, well, actually, I don't know if I do. I don't. Okay. Put that in there, put the ECU in there, zoom in on this because we're going to have to add a bunch of parts here. I booped all the stuff. Put all the stoofing in here. A lot of fuses. What if it refuses? <laughs> right, that's done. Um, put the air filter cover on there, and then I need. All right. <laughs> no! That's yeah, fine. Uh, fuse. Box cover A. Fuse box cover A. Right here. Okay, that's all D to pieces. All D D to pieces. All right. Rise, I tell you. All right, good enough. All right, put the pieces in. Fuel. Fuel. I see you. Fuel pump. There we go. One. No, I didn't want the front exhaust section. Oh no. Well, I guess I'm gonna. All right, fine. Front exhaust section, rear exhaust section one, rear exhaust section two. Knuckle covers. Okay. I need two of those for show. Did I? I didn't. All right, let's take care of that then. Dad Gurmit Kermit. Dad Gurmit Kermit. Leading at the right spot. Nope, that's whatever. Uh, here we go. Uh, no, no, not what I wanted. No, deny, deny, deny. Uh, uh, Four. I need that, I'm sure. I need other brake pads. Good. 
Could be wrong about half of what I just bought, but you know, whatever. Um, oh, I do need to do that. Okay. Woohoo! Alright, well, let's get this. Let's get this all mounted up. Completely safe that it is only one. One, one, well, not one. It's three bolts holding that together. It seems legit. I put stuff on the shopping list and then didn't actually buy them. Do I have any upper? I don't. I need those. Okay. Let's uh, let's actually buy what's on our shopping list. Good gravy. I'm going to need two of those. I'm going to need two of those. I do need a starter, but it's over here. All right, let's put the starter in because then we're done with the motor. Motor. The motor. We're done with the motor. Quiet, all of you. Up. All right, so now I have to put together a double wishbone rear shock system. Fine, I'll do it. Brakes. Drive axle. Pads. No, I don't have any shoes. Sad. All right, so that's got that put together. What I'm going to do is buy those and those because I, I, I want to get that rim and that sport tire on my list. Because now I'm going to have to exit. Double wishbone rear shock. Need two of those. And then I need rear spring, two of those, and then spring cap. Nope, not spring cap. What is it called? I don't know. Spring thing. Nope, it's not called a spring thing. <sighs> I'm going to have to go searching for it, aren't I? Yes, yes, I am. Shock absorber cap. That That's what I want. Thanks, game. All right, and then I need rims. I need, nope, I need you off of there. I need 21s. I need two 21s, man. Rolling the 21s. All right, now we need tires. 355, 25, 21. 355, 25, 21. 355, 25, 21. There we go. Sweet. All right, now we have to, where am I? We have to assemble them. That goes on there. Up, up, up. Wow, what are you wowing about? What did I do? That's a loaded question. Hmm. Them some girthy tires. Okay, let's put this on first. And now let's put this guy on here. Alright, that's one tire. Knuckles. We're going to have this car 50-ish percent up. I don't have a necessary part. Army Mike, hello. Welcome in. Thank you for the 31 months. All right. I think I'm at a point where I can just buy one part and be done with. Nope, not that. 
the rear end of this car. All right, rear end of the car done. Engine done. Front area done, but not the front uh, shock system. So we're going to have to do that. But that, I hope, goes quickly because rear drive car like this doesn't have as many parts up front. Hoping to get this done real quick because I want to. I'd love to fi fix the other car. We might end up not being able to fix the other car and having to go over to the auction, but we'll see. We're going to finish this and then we're going to make a, a uh, game time decision about what we do next because I'd like to fix the, um, the trash truck that's next to me. I'm going to call it the trash truck because I don't know what it's called, but I hate it. I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of like. Um, the hot rod era, like when people would soup up like Model T's and Model A's, it just doesn't, I'm just like, it's really annoying. It could just be the people that have them around here drive them around very annoyingly, but I don't know. I'm an old vehicle person, I guess. I'm not old. Just ask Kai's. That's I'm I'm sticking with that. Let's get that off of there. So now we get rid of this. that fluffy is older fluffy is like ancient i mean just listen to his rant last week with flashing lights he sounded like an old man who hadn't had his um uh hadn't had his uh i don't know fiber prunes what do old people need to stop being ranty? <laughs> Fern juice. Yeah, that works. Hear my rant about squat truck? Squat truck? You mean like the Carolina squat? I saw somebody, I saw a picture of somebody who did a, who Carolina squatted their uh, Tesla Cybertruck. That person deserved every bit of, um, negativity they got. I forgot I had some tires in my inventory. I need to separate them and I need to separate these guys too. Fluffy was around when dinosaurs came into existence. True. Oh my gosh. The people who, who do stuff like coal roll and do like Carolina squat on their truck. And if you don't know what a Carolina squat is, just just look up Carolina squat truck and you'll get an idea and then you'll probably vomit in your mouth and never want to see that again. But people do that. Um, though, though South Carolina passed a law to prevent the Carolina squat because it was terrible. Um, okay. Uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right, I don't want to grab those because I might actually have them. We might have that. I might have just done that a few too many times, but that's fine. I need two of those. I need that. I need that. That, 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 that.
truck has worms. <laughs> Truth. Um, yeah, I, you know, if people want to modify their vehicle, great, but like there's a point at which you have exited good graces and you have entered the land of no. I, I mean, Mike, I have seen a Carolina squat truck in the wild, funny enough, in South Carolina. Um, and to make it even better, it, it was a Carolina squat, squat truck that also had the um, metal testicles hanging from the, um, the trailer hitch. When he hit bumps, he'd smack his ball bag. That's all I'm saying. Uh, two of those those <laughs> truck nuts yep truck nuts uh 255 3020s 255 3020s 255 3020s uh join up 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 I'm very annoyed by something. I'm going to ignore it for now. I'm going to see if anybody picks up on what annoys me. It'll take a minute. You'll notice it eventually. Or not. I don't know. That. Okay, need to get a new one of those. A couple of those. All right. Don't need that. All right, put this up. All right, bottom suspension arm. We're going to need another one, but that's fine. You don't know how they can see the road. They can't. That's the whole, that's, that's just the problem. That's why South Carolina put in a law to prevent the Carolina squat, because they're like, the, those people can't see the road, and therefore they are a hazard to other road users. Which was surprising that South Carolina did that, because South Carolina isn't the most, you know, thoughtful state in many ways, but, you know, whatever. Good, good on them for actually, you know, dealing with a problem. Bang. Hub. Abrex. Abrex. Oh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if a couple kids got run over. All right, the, does everyone see the thing that annoys me right now? Because the solution is a pain in the butt, and I know this. You can't see Kurt, no. <laughs> the green door, ignore the green door. Ignore the ignore the 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 bodywork for a moment. The card colors. No, the wheels. The wheels. Yes. The wheels. The wheels don't match. To fix it is a pain in the butt. It is really, really annoying. Because I'm never going to be able to match it, so I'm going to have to pull all four wheels off, and then I'm going to have to go paint all four wheels. But this game was never designed for people like me. Um, so therefore, 
there's no search parameter for when you're painting parts. And I have a few parts in my inventory. So this gets really painful. Yeah, you can actually paint the wheels. I'll show you. I'll do it. It's just painful. I got to take them all off. Unmount them from the tire. I'm not even going to put that one on now. Off you come. So first things first, I got to unmount them. <laughs> this game did not expect to attract loot goblins. Your addiction is not their fault. <laughs> Hush, Sun Shadow. I am not a loot goblin. I'm taller than a goblin. A loot goblin would be Das. I'm more of a dragon. I'm going to play Chef Life for the rest of the day and forget to eat IRL hashtag Y because squirrel. All right, so I've got a mountain mounted, Kurt. Okay. Um, so now we go to the paint booth. And we paint part. I have 85 pages of parts because they don't let you search. I have to scroll through 85 pages of parts to find the freaking rim. That's a fan cover that I need to paint. Why you can paint all this stuff? I don't know, but you can. Um, do you think it'd be at the end? I kind of feel like it'd be at the end. Oh, there they are. So there's the rim. So we're going to take that rim, take the parts out of your inventory and put them in storage. <laughs> You're funny. Um, all right. Uh, current color is that. Yeah, I guess we got it. I guess I'm going to go with that. Pearl. Ooh, can we? Oh, wait. It's only painting that part. Uh, chrome. Yeah, let's do like chrome. Nah, chrome like chrome black. That'll work. All right. Now, let's go find the next one. They just had a search function. It'd make it so much easier. He says, knowing darn well, he could take all this stuff out of his inventory, but he's not gonna. Now I got a problem because I can't tell which one I painted and which one I didn't. Well, that's a pain in the tail. I have a new thought. We're going to do it differently. We're going to do, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a purple, we're going to do a pearlescent purple. I think that's going to be better. Right. That would make sense. Who am I kidding? I don't know. Who are you kidding? Um, all right. Let's go find those rims again. Developers need to hire me to do QA because they'd be like, never considered that. <laughs> All right, that one's done. Next part. We'll give this card a Serenar maybe. We'll think about it. I don't know. I don't know what Serenar would do with a Corvette, but other than wrap it around a tree somewhere, but you know. I can't find my rims because of all this crap. I mean, yeah, no. Shh, quiet. I mean, it's going to get slightly less because there's some stuff in here that's just going to be 
gotten rid of. Where's that one? <laughs> Traded in for an RX-7. Well, there you go. <laughs> they would never release a game because you would never stop being random. I mean, what what's wrong with that? I don't understand. Uh, scrap the parts that are that low. Beautiful. All right, let's take care of all that. All right, let's actually mount the freaking tires back together. That's a good idea. They'd be able to release Sun Shadow? Totally be able to release... Somehow. I mean, we just have to ignore some bugs. There, there'd be a, a point where the developers would just be like, "This is, this is." I mean, we do it at work all the time. <laughs> I have like 700 defects registered in the system and I'm like yeah half of these no human being is ever gonna do so we're just gonna ignore it all right we got our tires let's mount them up uh 355s going on back three fifty-fives going to back And a 255 is going to front. Why are you telling Kurt to shut up? All right. Come down from up there, car. Let's put some windshield wiper fluid in here. All right, so after we do this, we're going to do what we, we need to for the car to paint it and all that stuff. Um, and then we're going to go to an auction. Don't forget the blinker fluid. That's your problem. It's an American car. It doesn't have blinker fluid. It's not a BMW. What are you, crazy? Um, close you. I can't, I can't reach into the engine over here. Thanks for flipping me around where I can't actually see the height of the uh, fluid. Oh wait, no, there it is right now. Never mind. Remove, remove complaint. Uh, oil, where you go? There you go. All right, we're almost done with this car. All right, this car should be 100% all around. It is. Now let's move it quickly over here to the test path. Oh, wow, those tires lined up perfectly. How beautiful. Um, and wow. Beautiful. All right, let's paint it. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Is there any thing we can add? What's that add? Oh, that adds that black striping. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. But let's see. Can I now? Matte's not good. Woof, chrome is terrible. Chameleon now. Matte chameleon. Gloss solid. That metallic is a little too dark, I think. I think that pearl paint with that is just beautiful.
All right, let's take it outside where it can just sit for a moment. That chameleon. Well, it's not. Um, all right, there we go. We um, we built it. Let's um, let's see if we can sell it. Serenar, it's going to be yours for a cool $245,000. It's fine. It's yours. You can have it. I don't want it. <laughs> Goodbye, car. There we go. All right. Ugh, ignore that thing. Let's do two things. First thing first. I'm going to unlock this alley because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. And now we're going to go to the car auctions because I'm not going to go to the junkyard. Even my kidney won't help there. <laughs> I, you know, an extra 245. You see, you can sell it, get an RX-7 and several other things. Uh, salvage cars, please. Let's start with... Uh, let's look at this Elise really quick. And a house. <laughs> let's check out this Elise. Uh, that engine is mostly there. I don't want this car. Let's check out this Elise. I was going to say, that engine's not there. Well, that engine doesn't belong there. Um, oh, I can't see. I can't see what's under the engine. Ah. Ah. No. Um. What does this thing take, anyway? The I4 DOC 907. I do have an I4 DOC 907 sitting, waiting... Hmm. Hmm. I wish I could see that engine better. We're not going to risk it. We're not going to risk it. Uh, let's check out. Ooh, this Aston DBS. I think I have an Aston engine sitting around. Ooh, let's check out. Ooh, the engine's basically porked. That's good. Uh, it is in a way. This is running what engine? What do we got in here? A V12 AM11. I've got a V12 AM11 sitting in my shop. We are going to buy this car. Cars are great. Train man, the cars are great. We might have, you know. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Yay, we won it! Receive the car in the garage, please, because that's great. Okay, so that's going to take care of my AM11 engine. Boop, I just marked that off. Ooh, a Carrara GT. Ooh, that's a lot of things there. Um, let's check out... You know what? Let's check out this Katagiri Katsumoto. Because usually when they're this low on the numbers, the engine is roached. Yay, a roached engine. What kind of engine do you want? Okay. Do I have any of these engines? Hmm. I have some TAEs, but this doesn't want a TAE engine. I do not have any i3s. All right, we don't want a Katsuri Kitsumo. Let's check this car out. That engine is clapped. Perfect. Uh, that's got a lot of engine. I don't want it. That's gonna... Ooh, here's this one. I basically want a car. Oh, nope, don't want that. I want cars without engines right now. Because... Cars without engines, I could replace with the engines I have in my inventory. Woohoo! No engine! What do you want? What kind of engine do you want? Ooh, 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 an, uh, let's see here. A V8 AXK or the Coyote. I've got an AKY. That's unfortunate. An ARZ. That's not good. No! Wait, I got an FME. Nope, they don't want the FME. And a CH6. Well, that's unfortunate. A perfect engine. Perfect donor car, but I don't have an engine for that car. That's sad. All right. Uh, ooh, a Sequoia. Sequoia. Too much engine. 
let's check out the Zephyr. Just for giggles. Too much engine. Bolt Chapman. Let's check it out. Too much engine. This is not how most people shop for cars. <laughs> I don't know how most of that stuff is hanging out, and that's got way too much engine in it. Uh, boy. Ooh, this bolt cargo. There has an engine hoarding problem. I am trying to deal with this engine hoarding problem by buying cars that need engines and just dropping engines in it and selling them. Because then it's a quick win, right? The problem is most of these cars have too much engine. Uh, Royal Town. Is there an engine even in here? I can't even tell. Do you have an engine? Yep, you do. You sure do. <sighs> Mayan T8. Yeah, there's an engine in there. Uh, the Del Rey High Road. Oh, I don't think I have an engine for this one. Oh, that has way too much engine in it. Wow, I was expecting more cars that didn't have engines. Klepto habits are hard to break. Shh, quiet, y'all. Um, I'm kind of, like, sad. Most of these cars have way too much engine in them. Talk to a loader operator. Won't have an engine for long. Shush. Um, all right, so we managed to get rid of one engine. I'm going to go look at these cars. Just, I'm not going to buy any. Just, just looking. Just looking. It's fine. Just looking. Hmm. You want go-karts, in other words. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, there's only one other option, guys. And y'all know what it is. Hours of RPG games make us all kleptomaniacs. It's true. Sadly, it's actually true. Uh, well, what we're what I could do is I could go to a junkyard, but I've got problems when I go to junkyards. So, hi, car. You go there. Um, I, I have prop. Oh, wow. Never mind. You actually need to go get a bath first. Um, I have problems when I go to junkyards, as we all know. So I'm not actually going to go to a junkyard. We're going to make a really quick trip to um, to not a junkyard. <laughs> Look at you, Bethesda. <laughs> yeah. All right. Put this car back on the lift where it belongs. It'll be a simple yank and replace on that one. All right. We are going to go to my inventory somehow la 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 okay we're going to go to a barn barns aren't any better shh quiet shh, shh. all of you don't point it out i'm not going to buy everything i'm buy everything that isn't nailed down. You didn't see that. Nope. Nobody can see it. Everyone's in a commercial. Nobody can see what's going on. I'm going with that. Just a covered junkyard. <laughs> I see it. Shh, quiet. There's, there's nothing going on here. I'm seeing thanks to Wolf. Why? Why are you seeing thanks to Wolf? Ooh, does this car not have an engine? That I, 
Can't take the engine cover off. What kind of engine could this car have? Oh, this is one of these ones. I mean, we're going to buy it. But it's one of those ones. Boring electric car that doesn't have a real engine, just has a little generator. I say that even though I own an electric car. <laughs> the wolf gifted your current sub. Oh, I see. <laughs> Squirrel! What's this? How much engine? A lot of engine. Ooh, that's a Supra. Well, you know we're buying it, because that's how things work around here. Buy it! It's fine. I have considered what would happen if I sold my collection of stuff. How much money would I get for selling the entire collection? But I'd only just fill everything up again, and I know this. Think of the squirrel there. Uh, squirrels are eating my tree again. Stupid squirrels. I keep having to spray more hot sauce on the tree. <laughs> like, go away, you stupid squirrels. Ugh. My neighbors would not be happy if I took care of the squirrels the way I would prefer to take care of the squirrels, which is a 22 rifle. Mainly because my neighbors are a bunch of freaking weirdos in an HOA. All the random crap from the barn. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I see nothing being bought from this barn. Ooh, an RX-7. Yes, we want. No questions asked. Don't care what the price is. We want an RX-7. All right. Um, that didn't really do anything to help us, but... Um, In theory, that was going to help us because in theory, I would find a car without an engine, but that's not going to happen. So. Here we are. It's okay though. I mean, this will this will be this will be fine. Um, we'll uh, we'll work on something at some point in time. At some point, I'll have a use for every one of these parts. Same reason that I've saved screws for years in my shop and bent nails. I blame my grandfather for that because he did the exact same thing. And when he passed, we had barrels of nails that were bent um that's not the point i'm i'm sure at some point i will get a uh, a car that needs these parts oh that's an ac compressor for eden 1h i think i need that for that proton thing i just bought I plan on playing this game until I achieve all the achievements. It's an odd way to state that, but um, that's that's how long I plan to play it. So basically, the, the one achievement that's going to be the longest to get is up top, level 44. I need six more levels. Oh no, I broke it! Oh no, I broke something I bought! Oh no! I need to buy an F-Type because I now have a trunk for an F-Type. I probably have six trunks for an F-Type, but let's ignore that for now. Um, with special spices like arsenic. The reason I wouldn't do that, um, Train Man, is because there's some other animals in the area I want to actually, you know, keep alive, and um, they would eat the corn too. And the stupid neighbors with their stupid dogs that they let poop in my yard would probably eat the corn, which, I mean, 
there's things to be said about that. So junkyard parts aren't meant to be repaired. They're meant to be scrapped. This wasn't from the junkyard, though. This was from the, the barn. Um, we'll, we'll... This will be fine. I think. On, on the flip side, we'll find out how well they coded the engine on this game when my inventory is insane. Uh, barn equals junkyard with a roof. Shh, quiet you. All right, let's scrap the parts that we couldn't repair or that we broke. That one too. Scrap it. Ugh, fine. Salvage it. There we go. Woohoo! All right, so. We've trapped squirrels with a live trap and caught the neighbor's cat once. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... 36 pages of parts. It's fine. I don't have a problem. Um, I've got this trash truck to restore. And I don't have an engine to just drop in on that one. We've got this guy, which I'm just going to yank an engine, drop a new engine in. I mean, and do all the other work. Um, we got this thing. We got the Supra and the RX-7 that need to be washed. I'll wash them before I pull them in the in the shop and get them get them redone, get them redone and sold and ready to roll. And uh, then I'll probably end up going to a junkyard or the auctions again. I don't know, one or the other. Also a skunk. Yeah, I don't want to catch a skunk. Or prairie dogs, honestly. I do not want to catch the prairie dogs because they all have the plague. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to stop there. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to stop there. I only have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven more achievements to get. Squirrel. One of them, by the way, is to buy 30 Squirrel. cars from a junkyard. Um, so I'm pretty close to that. And I also need to buy 25 cars Squirrel. from an auction. So I'm pretty close to that. And I have to visit a barn 30 times. I'm pretty close to that. So, I mean, we're going to, we're going to own more cars, but it's okay. It's, it's going to, it's going to be fine. I'm sure. Probably. Anyway, we're going to, we're going to go, um, raid somebody and be done with my, my um, hoarding problem for a bit and um, I will be back next weekend will I be back next weekend yes I will be back next weekend um, <clears throat> I don't know what I'm streaming on any day so you know thank you for all the squirrels I really don't don't want any more squirrels there's no squirrels here there's no squirrels to be found here thank you all very much for coming uh wolf and army Mike thank you for the resub and Kurt, thank you for the raid. And we are going to go raid. Uh, probably Fluffy, but we'll see. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Ooh. Got it. Look at that. Look at that professional catch right there. Oh, crap. Never mind. Shh. Quiet, all of you. All of you chuckles. Ooh, ooh, we're going to mix it up. We're going to raid Steam. So that's where we're going. That was fantastic.
And by fantastic, I'm like, nah, nah. That was that was me dying a little inside. Yes, come on. 